Hi everyone. In this module, we learn the topics like MSc Chemistry, third semester. Organic chemistry. In this organic chemistry topics, the contents are mentioned here. Applications of spectroscopic techniques. In that unit one, we clearly deal with UV spectroscopy. In that UV spectroscopy. What is the basic principles of this UV spectroscopy or ultraviolet spectroscopy? Absorptions of dyings, polyings, carbonyl compounds, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. good word and fizzer rules and their applications uv spectra of organic compounds in this module or in this videos we are going to learn the concept of uv visible spectroscopy in this unit the list of the objectives identify the different types of transition and absorptions bond in uv spectroscopy and explain the transition probabilities in uv spectroscopy explain the symmetry restrictions in electronic transitions identify the properties of chromophores oxochromes absorptions and intensity shift explain the woodward fizzer rules for calculating absorptions for dyeing molecule for alpha beta unsaturated carbonates in the point of examinations i am going to say that we understand why some chemical compounds are colored and others are not just think out in that chemical compounds some of the compounds are colored in nature some of them are colorless to determine the relations of conjugations to color 
we must make accurate measurements of light absorption of different wavelength in and near visible part of the spectrum in that visible region the photon energy of 36 to 72 kilo calorie per mole and the near uv region out to 200 nanometer the energy range is 143 kilo calorie per mole the ultraviolet radiations having wavelength less than 200 nanometer is difficult to handle consequently the absorption spectroscopy carried out in this regions sometimes called electronic spectroscopy when samples molecules are exposed to light having an energy which matches possible electronic transitions within the molecule some of the light energy will be absorbed as the electron is prompted to higher energy orbital here we consider an optical spectrometer record the wavelength at which absorption occurs together with the degree of absorptions at each wavelength the resulting spectrum is presented as a graph of absorbance versus wavelength like that we consider this is what wavelength in per centimeter this is what absorbance generally the graph it come as like that what are the different types of transition and absorption points most of organic molecules contain if there it is having carbon carbon sigma bond single bond that is considered as what sigma bond or carbon carbon pi bond that is considered as one is sigma bond and another one pi bond when molecule is exposed to uv visible light the absorption of energy taking place as a result of these eights electrons are promoted from lower energy bond orbital to an higher energy anti bonding orbital these are representations of this sigma is representations of this lower energy orbital sigma star is representations of this higher energy orbital this lower energy orbital that is called what bonding molecular orbital higher energy is called what anti bonding molecular orbital when this electron it undergo lower energy to higher energy the transition originate as a result of the absorptions by compound 
here sigma 2 sigma star that is n2 sigma star pi 2 pi star and n2 pi star transition here n stands for non bonding electrons just you see this diagram of this different energy levels the questions are appears like that discuss the different types of transitions and absorption bonds this is what sigma 2 sigma star takes place when sigma electrons get promoted this is what sigma electrons get promoted to anti bonding orbital generally it is represented by a sigma 2 sigma star transition the energy required to this transition is very high because electron jump from here to there it require more amount of energy consider a methane molecule methane it consists of what four carbon 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 hydrogen bond methane it has only ch bond can only undergo sigma 2 sigma star transition what is the absorption maximum at 125 nanometer the absorption maximum due to sigma 2 sigma star transition or not in type typical uv visible spectra at 200 to 700 nanometer The next in that the sigma two pi star transition takes place when n electrons gets promoted to anti bonding sigma orbital into sigma star here. This is n. This is n. N2 sigma star N means takes place when an electrons get promoted to an anti bonding sigma orbital it is represented as N2 sigma star transition these electrons usually need less energy than Sigma 2 sigma star transition. Sigma 2 sigma star transition. They can be initiated by light absorption. They can be initiated by light dose wavelength in the range of 150 to 250 nanometer generally the organic functional groups like the aldehydes ketone carboxylic acid acetone generally these type of functional groups appear in this region next we consider pi 2 pi star transition takes place when pi electrons get promoted to an anti-bonding pi orbitals like that here when this carbon-carbon double bond is there carbon-carbon triple bond is there that is what pi 2 pi star transition The bond region origin due to pi to pi star transition is called what? K bonds. The compounds like diene, 
polyenes, linodes, etc. A bond also appear in aromatic compound substituted by a chromophore. The intensity of K bond is usually more than 10 to the power of 4. The K absorptions due to conjugated ions, enones are affected differently by changing the polarity of the solvents. These are all the compounds buta 1 comma 3, butene 1 comma 3, acrolein, styrene, toline. These are all the compounds, these are all the transitions. This is the lambda maximum, wavelength maximum expressed in that micrometer. This is what intensity maximum. Next, the transition probability, when a compound is exposed to ultraviolet or visible light, it is always necessary that excitation of an electron takes place from one bonding orbital or a lone pair to an anti-bonding or non-anti-bonding orbital. What is that excitation coefficient? A maximum is equal to 0 0.87 into 10 to the power of 20. Here where P is transition probability with values from 0 to 1. A means target area of the absorbing system, usually called a chromophore. Depending upon the symmetry and the value of a maximum, transition can be classified as follows. The allowed transition and forbidden transition. In that transition associated with E maximum value, more than 10 to the power of 4 are usually called allowed transition. Generally it is due to in that pi to pi star transition. In that allowed transition, example 1 comma 3 butene that absorption at 127 micrometer and maximum intensity is 21,000 is allowed transition. The transition allowed with a maximum values less than 10 to the power of 4 are called what? Forbidden transition. Allowed transition means the transition associated with extinction coefficient value more than 10 to the power of 4. That is allowed transition. Less than 10 to the power of 4 that is called what? Forbidden transition. What are the symmetry restrictions in electronic transition? The forbidden transition is related with two factors. They are symmetries of the lower and higher energy molecules orbitals, symmetry of the molecule as a whole. 
symmetry molecules have more restrictions on their electronic transition compared to less symmetrical molecules consider examples like that benzene benzene is highly symmetric molecules because many restrictions are applied to the electronic transition of this molecule therefore its electronic absorption spectrum is very simple next we consider for that a large number of organic compounds absorb uv visible light the following factors are important this is also very important mention the factors important decide whether the transition is allowed or forbidden for these molecules the ground state geometry of the molecular orbital excited state geometry of the molecular orbital orientation of the electronic dipole of the incident light that induce the transition these three factors have an appropriate symmetry relationship then the allowed transition will be resulted next we discuss with the concept of chromophore chromophore means originally a chromophore was considered any group or molecule which is responsible for imparting color to the compound for example nitro compound it is in yellow in color nitro group is the chromophore which imparts the yellow color the aryl conjugated azote dye is a chromophore for providing color to azote dyes for the definitions it is defined as any isolated covalently bonded group that show a characteristic absorption in the ultraviolet or visible rays there are two types of chromophores are they chromophores contain only pi electrons undergo n2 pi star transition such as chromophores or ethylene acetylene etc and chromophore contains both pi electron and non bonding electron these chromophores undergo two types of transition that is pi to pi star and pi to sigma to pi star and pi to pi star for example here the carbonyls nitriles azote dyes nitro compounds etc the change in position as well as intensity of absorption depends upon many factors like that the spectrum consists of a bond near 300 micrometer may contain two or three conjugated units absorption bonds near 270 to 370 micrometer with very low intensity 10 to 100 or due to the n2 pi star transition of the carbonyl group the simple conjugated chromophores such as dienes or alpha beta unsaturated ketones have high intensity values from 10000 to 20000 the absorption with e maximum values between 1000 to 10000 that shows the aromatic system the aromatic nucleus substituted with extended chromophore groups the absorption occurs at still higher values of extinction coefficient all the compounds having the same functional group will absorb at the same wavelength with nearly the same extinction coefficient if the distribution factors such as conjugation 
substituents or absent yes some these are very important okay just you are going to read them these are all the list of chromophores and transition alkene alkyne carbonyl nitro carboxylic acid azide amide these are all what different chromophores these are all the transition and absorption maximum and extinction maximum these are all the solvent they mentioned here what is oxochrome it is defined as a group which itself does not act as chromophore but its present shift of the absorption bonds towards the red end of the spectrum or blue end of the spectrum the red end of the spectrum that is what longer wavelength the blue end of the spectrum that is what shorter wavelength what are the importance of these oxochromes here oh or amine nh or nr2 sh these are all what important oxochromes just you considering here this is aniline in that aniline molecule what is that lambda max here 280 nanometer but here nh3 plus what we are getting here 254 nanometer in aniline nh2 act as chromophore but aniline ion ion this is what aniline ion there is no lone pair on nitrogen atom similarly azo benzene and trans epoxy azo benzene presence of oc2h5 that's why it shows that higher lambda maxima and extinctions values these are all oxochromic groups contain non bonding electron and they extended the conjugations of the chromophore by sharing of non bonding electron next we consider what are the absorption and intensity shift as mentioned above oxochrome can shift the wavelength of absorption either side of the spectrum towards longer or shorter wavelength if the absorption maximum is shifted towards longer wavelength due to presence of oxochrome or by change the change of solvent such a shift is called what red shift that is also called what tautochromic shift that is very important red shift means the absorption maximum is shifted towards longer wavelength due to the presence of an oxochrome or by change of solvent such a shift is called red shift or tautochromic shift for example in two pi star transition for carbonyl compound experiences tautochromic shift when the polarity of the solvent is decreased and another one is very important that is what blue shift or hypnoscopic shift blue shift or hypnoscopic shift the absorption maximum is shifted shorter wavelength due to the presence of oxochrome or by change of solvent such a shift is called blue shift or hypnoscopic shift it may be caused by the removal of conjugation 
and also changing the polarity of the solvent. Is the intensity of absorption maximum increases means extension maximum increases due to the presence of an absorptome or by change of solvent such effect is called the hyperchromic effect. These are all some examples regarding to this. Pyridine, we consider 257 micrometer. What is that? Extinction intensity 2750 is shifted to 262 micrometer and E max 3560. For methyl pyridine. Just we are going to add that one methyl group. What happens that wavelength is increases and intensity is also increases. If the intensity of absorption maximum decreases, the extinction coefficient E maximum decreases due to the presence of an absorption by a change of solvent. Such effect is called hypochromic effect. The introductions of this distort the geometry of the molecule. Consider some examples like that. Biphenyl absorbs are 250 micrometer. What is that intensity? 19,000. Just we are going to add only one methyl group into that. Biphenyl molecule, it absorbs 237. And what is that E max? 10,250. Because the E maximum decreases due to Distortions caused by methyl group in 2 methyl phenyl. These are all absorption and intensity of shift. This is in front of this a maximum that is bathochromic shift. This maximum less than that that is hypnoschromic shift. The E maximum value is greater than normal that is called what hyperchromic shift that is less than that is what hypochromic shift. Now we are going to discuss with some molecules like that. Dienes. Dienes means it is a carbon carbon double bond. Observe at 170 micrometer while the butadiene contains two double bond in conjugated absorbs at 217 micrometer. Thus, in a molecule of two or more chromophoric groups are present in conjugation then the absorption of wavelength is shifted to higher values. Therefore, the bathochromic shift is more pronounced if the double bonds are in conjugation as compared to the isolated double bond. The absorption maximum is usually shifted to 15 to 45 micrometer towards higher wavelength in conjugated system as the electron density is
spread over the least core atomic centers. Just we consider that ethylene molecules CH2 double bond CH2 di radical. The electron cloud is spread on two carbon atoms, and the absorption maximum occurs at 170. This is what in case of that butadiene, one comma three butadiene consists of two ethylene units. The two pi bonding orbitals, one from each ethylene unit, interact to give rise to the new bonding orbitals. Here, yeah, pi plus pi is equal to pi one or psi one. Having smaller energy, pi minus pi that is pi two, having a higher energy. This is what two pi orbitals are formed from two ethylene units, which are pi star or pi star here, pi one star or psi three. Pi star to pi star is equal to pi star to or psi four, having a higher energy. The psi is the less than one of the two combining atomic orbitals, and the energies psi three and psi four are compared with one of the two anti-bonding orbitals. The psi one can be represented as follows: all the four singly filled atomic orbitals having the same spin electron. Thus, mixing is complete and there is a no nodal place plane. This is what psi two represented as follows. There are one nodal plane present, hence there are double bonds between C1, C2, and C3, C4, and there are single bond between C2 and C3. The C3 can be represented as follows here. In this case, there are two nodal planes and one double bond. Between C2 and C3. Before can be represented as follows. This corresponds to I energy state since it involves three nodal planes. The various excitation for one comma three beta diene for their corresponding energy levels are shown below. Let's go through this graph. This is psi plus psi, psi plus psi. This is psi one. Psi minus psi two. That is psi two. Psi three means psi star plus psi star. That is b three. Psi four means sigma. Sorry, psi star minus psi star. That is what psi four. On absorption of energy, electron jumps from pi two to pi three star because the energy difference between pi two to pi three star is less. Therefore, the absorption occurs at a higher wavelength. This type of transition is called pi two pi star transition. When double bonds are conjugated, the energy levels of higher occupied molecular orbital, simply that is H M H O M O. 
is raised and of the lowest unoccupied molecular or antibonding molecular is lowered. This is absorption of polyene. Just see this graph of this polyene. These are all the compounds having more than two conjugated double bonds. Conjugation results in an overall lower energy state of the molecule. The longer the conjugated atoms chain in the absorbing system, the absorption occurs at longer wavelength. So, the intensity of the absorption is greater. There are all some representations of this the in molecule, polyene molecule. See the change of trans to cis configuration at one or more double bonds in a polyene lowers the wavelength as well as the intensity of absorption. What is the Woodward Fisher rules for calculating absorption maximum in diene's? Here are the important steps: the number of alkyl substituents or ring residue on the double bond, number of double bond which extend conjugated, the presence of polar groups such as chlorine, bromine, or SR, etc. Ring residue is a carbon-carbon double bond, not a part of conjugated system, but attached to any one of the carbon atoms of the conjugated polyene systems. Now we are going to discuss with what is that conjugated diene. In that conjugated dienes are exist in two fundamental conformations that is cis and trans. Cis means a same side. Atoms are present in same side of the same function group. Trans means here yes, yes. The first step predicting the wavelength maximum of UV absorption for conjugated ions is to determine whether it is lies in cis and trans conformations. If it lies in the yes trans conformation, then base value is 217 nanometer. If it lies in the cis conformations between conformation is base value of 253 nanometer. In that extended conjugation, this is extended conjugation, initially it is in 217, this is extended conjugation. In that extended conjugation, we are going to add 253, lambda maximum, 283. These are all endocyclic and exocyclic double bond. An interesting features of double bond is that they may be part of a ring system. In such case, various typical double bond in conjugation are described below. The only cyclic dienes, these are dienes chain systems and their basic unit is butadiene. 
homo angular conjugated double bonds these are the conjugated bonds present in the same ring these are also called homo digens heterocyclic and endocyclic conjugated double bonds the conjugated double bond formed by carbon atom ring put present outside the ring is called conjugated double bond exocyclic double bond and double bond present inside the ring is called the endocyclic double bond this is what exo this is what endo inside it is there that is what endo outside it is there exo this exo this is exo the effect of alkyl group just to see here not only conjugation the presence of alkyl groups can be double bond also causes bacopromic shift any alkyl group bonded to a carbon atom to the conjugated system adds 5 nanometer to the base value this is see here this alkyl group here 227 this what the conjugated group here one is extended there is what alkyl group 263 here also two alkyl groups what is that 263 the trans extended three alkyl groups that is lambda maximum to 98 nanometer for example some calculations are mentioned here regarding those topic what is the calculation spot here Here calculation absorption maximum in the UV visible spectrum for two comma four exa by a. This is the structure of this board exa by a. Two comma four exa by a. Numbering it starts from year one, two, three, four. Five six. Here one conjugated system is there. Here that value is two seventeen. Two alkyl substituent. This one and this one. Two alkyl substituent. Ten micrometer. Both we are going to add. What is that? Two twenty seven micrometer. what is the absorbed value is found to be 227 micrometer here first we are going to find that this is conjugated system what is that 217 two alkyl substituent what is that two alkyl substituent yeah this is the one alkyl substituent this is the another one alkyl substituent those values are 10 two ring residue here this is one residue this is another one ring residue that is 10 micrometer one exocyclic double bond one exocyclic double bond that is 5 micrometer Totally, what is the calculated value here? Two forty-two micrometer.
Next, what is the calculations for that? This molecule. Just we consider this is the base peak value that is 215. Four ring residue. One, two, three, four. Four ring residue. 20. Calculated value is 235. It is also found in that 234. That is accepted. What are the calculations of this molecule? Here first we see here within the ring this is what conjugated system 253 micrometer 3 ring residue 1, 2, 3. 3 ring residue, that is 3 into 5, that is 15. 1 exocyclic double bond, 5. Totally, what is that? 273 micrometer. What is observed value? 274 micrometer. Next, we consider that calculations of absorption maximum for the compound. This is the base physical value here, what the rate is 215. Three ring residues are there. 1, 2, 3. Three ring residue, 5 into 3, 15. One exocyclic double bond, that is 5 micrometer. Totally, we are going to calculate here 235. The observed value of absorption maximum in the UV spectrum of this compound is also to be 235. Next, we are going to find the calculations of absorption maximum of this compound. Here, what is the basic value of this? This is basic value of this watt here. 253 micrometer. Two double bond extending conjugation. Here, 2 into 30, here, 60. Five ring residues are there. One exocyclic double bond, totally 343. It is what a homoannular conjugated diene system. It contains four ring residues, two exocyclic double bonds, and one double bond with extended conjugation. What is the basic value here? 253. Four ring residue, two exocyclic double bond. One double bond extended conjugation. Totally, what is the calculated value? 313. The observed value is 312. For these bicyclic compounds, in that bicyclic compounds, the diene system present in it bicyclic compounds. Then due to the strain in the bicyclic compound. 15 micrometer. It is added to the ring strain corrections. Consider here absorption maximum in UV spectrum. What is that? 2 comma 3 dimethyl in bicyclo. 2 comma 2 comma 1 peptides. Here what is the base value here? 217. Two ring residues are there. This is what basic two ring residues. Five into two. Two exocyclic double bonds are there. 
that is strength one bikes bicyclic system that is strength correction 15 total is what here 254 finally what we are getting here 254 What are the distortions of the chromophore? Distortions of the chromophore may be lead to red or blue shift. red or blue shift depending upon the nature of distortions for example the compound is expected to show absorption maximum at 237 micrometer shows absorption maximum at 220 micrometer due to distortions of chromophore the blue shift is due to the loss of conjugation as the structure is no longer planar thus we are going to find that absorption maximum this is what base value turing residue this is calculated value is 263 But for the absorption maximum for cyclopentadiene occurs at 238.5 micrometer. What is the extinction value? 3,400. Cyclopentadiene occurs at 248 micrometer. Extinction maximum value is 7,500. These are all the absorptions, UV absorptions of carbonyl compound. In that carbonyl compound, here carbon double bond which contains a lone pair of electron, it undergo pi to pi star transition. What we are getting here? One base. carbonyl group it undergo n2 pi star transition what we are getting here same the first transition corresponds to pi to pi star it involves the promotion of pi electrons to an anti bonding and pi star orbital it is very intense and appears at a shorter wavelength the second transition corresponds to n2 pi star which involves the promotions of non bonding electrons to pi 3 star orbit it is less intense and appears to appears at longer wavelength it is also called what r band in amides acids esters acid alloys the substituents like that nr2 oh or x on the carbonyl group shows pronounced ipsochromic effect on n2 pi star transition the ipsochromic effect is due to inductive effect of nitrogen oxygen or halogen atoms the hetero atoms with cross electrons from carbonyl carbon makes carbonyl oxygen lone pair of electrons more stabilized due to its involvement in increasing cbo bond order as a result n2 pi star transition of this compound is shifted to 
250 nanometer range relative to 270 nanometer in that aldehydes and ketones. The ultraviolet absorption of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Here we consider the conjugation of carbonyl group with double bond shift both N2 pi star and pi star to pi star transition to longer wavelength. The effect on pi 2 pi star band is more in alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds of ethylene and carbonyl groups or in conjugation. The spectra for such compounds are simple summation of ethylene and carbonyl chromophores. A bathochromic shift is observed if two chromophoric groups are conjugated as pi electrons, cloud is spread over at least four carbon atoms. There is pi 2, pi star transition is due to ethylene unit which is in conjugation with carbon. This is what ethylene group is there. This is carbonyl group is there. Both are combined together to formation of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group. This is what homo nucleado pi orbital molecular orbital. This is what pi to pi star. This is pi to pi star for that carbonyl groups. This is Just here we consider alpha beta carbonyl both pi 2 pi star and n2 pi star transition shows bathochromic shift. The various transition involved are shown above from the energy level diagram. It is clear that pi 2 homo energy level higher than earlier of the pi levels of carbon carbon and carbon oxygen. The pi 3 means that is lumo energy level is higher than that of pi star level carbon to carbon and carbon to oxygen chromophores. Since the energy difference between homo and lumo is less than pi 2 pi star transition shows bathochromic effect. Similarly, N2 pi star transition means R band as shown bathochromic shift. Here alpha beta unsaturated compound shows slightly stronger N2 pi star band. The position as well as intensity of N2 pi star bands are influenced by transannular interactions and solvent. This mentioned is also for that acid. We should go through that. In that here increase in the polarity of the solvent pi to pi star transition experience a red shift while N2 pi star transition undergo a blue shift. This is all next. Woodward Fisher rules for calculating absorption maximum in alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl group. And that basic value for unsaturated ketone is 215. Alpha beta unsaturated ketone maybe a cyclic or 6 member for a compound this one basic value is 215 if x is h the basic value it becomes what 207 if x is OH or OR what we are getting 193 if the double bond and carbonyl group are contained 
in a five membered ring that is five pentimone then for such alpha beta unsaturated ketones the basic value becomes 202 micrometer the e maximum value is for that here 1000 for exocyclic double bond 5 micrometer for each double bond pentacyclic in 5 or 7 member ring except cyclo penta 2 en 5 micrometer for alpha position present in the alkyl group that is 10 beta position is 12 gamma or delta position that is 18 For each double bond extending conjugated a 30 micrometer, the homo anular conjugated ends a 39 micrometer. Increment for various other groups in the various alpha, beta, gamma, etc. positions are mentioned in the tables. These are all the tables. So this is chromophore. This is increment in nanometer. the alpha position beta position gamma position and delta or ir position making use these tables we are going to find the lambda maximum for the different structures here this is the molecule we are going to calculate that lambda maximum value for basic value for a cyclic alpha beta unsaturated ketone is 215 micrometer in this structure we see two alkyl substituents are there two alkyl substituents the basic value is 215 two beta alkyl substituent this is alpha position this is what beta position this is alpha this is what beta position in that beta position two substituent for the 24 calculated value is 239 for this molecule this is alpha beta unsaturated molecule there are two ring residues of the two ring residue one extra exocyclic carbon carbon double bond is there calculated value is 244 micrometer the absorbed value is 241 micrometer the basic value for this compound this is 215 oh the substitution is there that is 35 two beta substituents we have 24 two beta substituents are there this is what uh, alpha and beta two beta positions are there here yeah? 24 observed value is 275 the benzene and derivatives here also we mentioned in that effect of substituents with unshared electrons effect of pi conjugation what are the effect of electron withdrawing or electron releasing groups are there generally electron withdrawing and releasing group we are going to adding into that benzene it changes its absorption value Generally, the aniline it shows a 285 nanometer due to the presence of electron withdrawing group in that para nitro substituent that is shifted 367 nanometer with significant increase of absorption. In that polycyclic aromatic compound, in case of polycyclic aromatic compounds or hydrocarbons. due to extended conjugation both primary and secondary bands are shifted to longer wavelength these spectra are usually complicated but are characteristics of parent compound primary band at 184 nanometer in benzene shift to 220 nanometer in case of naphthalene To 60 nanometer in case of what anthracene. 
Similarly, the structured secondary band which appears as broad band around 255 nanometer in benzene is shifted to 270 nanometer and 340 nanometer respectively in case of nocoline and anthracene molecules. The students, now I will summarize that unit. The range of electronic spectroscopy for UV is 200 to 400 nanometer. In that visible is 400 to 800 nanometer. When UV or visible radiation is passed through a substance under examinations absorption of energy resulting in the promotion of electron from ground electronic state to the excited electronic state. The absorption energy in UV and visible spectroscopy electronic transition takes place. The UV spectra of organic compound consists of bands and not a sharp peak. The reason is that each electronic transition is accompanied by changes in vibrational and rotational levels. As a result of absorption spectrum in the vapor phase consists of a large number of closely spaced peaks. But if the spectrum solution is taken, then fine structure turns into bands. It may be due to solvent solute interactions that hydrogen band shifts the UV absorption to shorter wavelength of light frequencies. Chromophore means it is defined as any isolated covalently bonded group that shows a characteristic absorption in the UV or visible region. Oxochrome means it is any group which does not itself act as chromophore but whose presence brings about a shift of the absorption band towards the red end of the spectrum. In that vapochromic effect, it is an effect due to which the absorption maximum is shifted towards longer wavelength due to the presence of oxochrome or by change of solvent, increase in conjugation causes vapochromic shift. Ipsochromic shift or effect due to this absorption maximum is shifted to shorter wavelength, it is due to reductions in conjugations or change in the polarity of the solvent. A good solvent in UV spectroscopy, one which is low priced and transparent down to 210 nanometer, polar bands like that carbonyl are affected by solvent polarity into pi stars transition undergo blue shift and pi to pi star transition undergo red shift. In that UV spectrum, sharp peak or shell down absorptions but instead broad bands are absorbed. The reason is that vibrational and rotational effect are superimposed on the electronic transition. This is all the reference for further studies. These are all the very important questions in the point of examinations like that. Define the term chromophore, forbidden transition, absorption of conjugated ions, absorbed for alpha, beta and saturated compounds. Some numericals are very important. Please be go through that numericals. What we did in that previous, those numericals are very important to find the lambda max for different compounds based on that Woodward Fisher rules, diens, conjugated diens, extended conjugation, endocyclic and exocyclic double bonds, effect of alkyl group and some very important. We have discussed the UV absorptions of benzene 
and its derivatives woodward fisher rules for calculating absorption maximum in alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl groups uv absorption of alpha beta carbonyl groups etc thank you and now please go through this unit 1 carefully this unit 1 it covers that uv ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy thank you